going to be very, very exciting. I'm fishing with Robbie Richards, Perth Fishing Safaris. Robbie, tell me, are we going to go from rags to riches today? We are, yeah, definitely. What are we going to do? So we're going to be drone fishing this morning for pink snapper, or you know, snapper. Uh, fishing off the top of a dune, and we're going to be bombing baits out about 300 metres. I cannot drone. begin to tell you how excited I am. There's our rigs for the day, all pre-tied to nice Gamakatsu 70 circle looks, and that was once a pool noodle, one of the best rig holders ever invented. So this is our little bait table, got some mullet there, some blue mackerel, we call them slimy mackerel on the east coast. And we've even got a little bit of water here so we can thaw the baits, get them ready. What's the plan? So we've got a little mullet cutlet here. Yep. So we've got our Snelled 7 Gammas here. One through this way. This is not finesse fishing. It's all <laughs> about hook exposure. Yep. Yeah, so getting that hook all the way out. This one sticking it through the other side. We fish chunk baits like this a lot where I come from. So yeah. They work a treat. Yeah, that's really it. good. And that's so, the bait ready to go. Ready to go. If a fish inhales that, yep. it's not going to not get hooked. And that's what you want because you put the baits out so far, it takes so long to set up, yes. you want to make sure you hook up. Exactly. So, mackerel head, I love these because when the fish crunches, it gets all the burly. How do you rig these? We rig it a little bit differently to the mullet chunks. Yep. So we're rigging it like that, measure it out. This one goes in through the shoulder and parallel to the spine. Now this, this front hook is going to go right through the front of the jaw. It is, Because yeah. that's the toughest part of the fish. That's right, it's not going to come off. So just under the chin, through like that. That so. is a good looking bait. All right, so this is my little Mavic Pro drone that we're going to use today. Yep. I'm just going to take the cover off here, a little gimbal cover, like that. This is where it all happens. This is the release mechanism. So we attach this to the drone. It's a third party mechanism. It's not made by DJI. So basically that goes in the bottom of the drone that holds the fishing line. Yes. And then when it gets out to where it's going, it releases it. That's right. We press a button on the remote control and it spins that little wheel around 90 degrees. And just drops it. That's right. Unbelievable. Slides in the old on. days, you know, we used to row kayaks and things out, drop baits and then row them back and be freezing cold. Yeah, yeah. We don't do that anymore. <laughs> the good old days. Yeah, this is uh, 21st century fishing. One of the loosest things I've done. That drone took off, was doing 50 kilometres an hour. This spool is almost empty. It's now returning to base, and I've got to bait 300 metres offshore. So we're just sticking our rod holder in, facing about 10 or 15 degrees forward. And we're just doing a side to side motion, and the, the end of the PVC is actually cutting into the ground. And we put our hand on the top to seal the suction and the sand comes out. We want to get that down about 50 centimetres. So the gear for this fishing, quite specific. This is Stella 10,000 saltwater PG, holds plenty of braid. When we're talking braid, this is 30 pound braid, 500 metres, because we want to go out a long way. The rod is custom built, 10 foot 6 two piece, and this outfit super light, but very, very strong. So it's going to have some work to do. One thing I've noticed with drone fishing is you don't have to be particularly early. So you want to get here around daylight to get set up. Often the fish aren't biting probably for an hour, hour and a half into the session, biting through to about 9.30, 10 o'clock in the morning. Yep, yep, yep. It's a pink, it's, it's a pink. snapper. Yeah, good one. It's a solid fish. It's a big fish. So, what happened there, this rod actually went whack whack a few smaller bites and then didn't it just go nuts mate? Oh mate. That was 
This Epic. is a good fish. Good fish? Yeah, big fish. Now, you've got to wind this fish in 300 <laughs> metres, mate. <laughs> yeah. How are the guns? It's playing up, mate. Yeah, it's a, it's a good fish. So what's big for a snapper here? Oh, seven kilos. Okay, that's a big... We, we do get them a bit bigger than that. That's a big snapper anywhere in the world, but land base, mate, that is next level. Generally, they fight at the start. Yep. Come in like a bag of cement through the mid 250 metres. Yep. And they fight at the last bit as well. This one's fought the whole way. Which means he's decent. Yeah. And I'd say he's got a good shape to him as well. Nice. Gotta go hard. Oh. Ah. This thing's big. Now, this is the hard bit, getting him up over the ledge. How far away is he? How far away is he? Just in behind the weave. So do you want me to go down the beach? Ah. Okay, you can go down, mate. Okay. Going down, help land this fish. Here he comes! It's a bit of weed on the line, but there's a big fish in there somewhere too. Just got to use these waves to wash the fish in. Okay, grab it, pull it up. Oh, look at that, it's a snapper. That's look at the size fish. of it. Away from the wave. That's a big snapper. Whew. Look at that. Holy snapping pink snapper. That's got to be at least seven kilos of land-based drone snapper. And I've just noticed we've got a second fish as well. Look at this. There's a pinky just here. Double header snapper off the beach, not far from Perth. I have now seen it all. Well done, mate. You're a champion. Woo! This fish is going back. Let's wait for this next wave. What a pretty, pretty fish. Here we go. Swim, mate. Swim. That is so epic. Not only have we caught a fish in the sand, but that fish was just released, swam away beautifully. Oh, I love this. I wonder if the good people of Perth have any idea this is happening just two hours up the road. Let's get a little bite. Oh, get a little bite here too. I've got to say, mate, nothing tastes better than a cup of coffee by the sea. How good is it? It's unreal. It is so good. Mate, what made you think of doing drone fishing? Uh, it, I'd seen it on YouTube and Facebook and whatever, and it wasn't until my wife actually bought me the drone yep. for my birthday, unexpected, and instantly I just saw it fishing. So <laughs> it's got to be the go. So mind, yeah. How long have you been running Perth fishing safaris with drones? I've uh, been doing Perth fishing safaris for 18 months now. Yep. And we've been drone fishing hard for about 10 months. And what are some of your standout captures? Because I've seen the photos, they're impressive, but what are some that come to mind? Uh, some of the standout catches on the drone would be a 10 kilo metro snapper we caught. A young 14 year old fella named Josh caught that. And a 15 kilo Spanish mackerel up north. Wow. So what are your thoughts mate? Uh, it's a bit quiet, so I reckon we'll move up the coast a bit. Yep. Got a good little spot up there. We can get a few nice snapper and the odd shark as well, so Beautiful. we'll make a move, I think. I think at the moment it's literally too calm, mm. a little bit of rough weather, or a little bit of dark and smell of the tilde. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, we might pick up something at last light this afternoon as well. Beautiful, let's do it. So this is our drone fishing rig. It's actually about five metres long. Starts with a star sinker on a loop knot. Up about a metre and a half to a three-way swivel. Short dropper, two 70 Gamma Katsu circles snelled on the line with a big bait. Then about two metres of line, another three-way swivel, a shorter dropper, another two snelled hooks. You want the snelled hooks because you want every opportunity to hook that fish possible. Then about two metres to another three-way swivel. And on the top of that, a light bit of probably 25 pound line. That's what the drone attaches to. That takes the entire rig out. Oh, run! You run! You're on! Go! Oh. That's a big fish! <laughs> That's a good fish! Oh, oh. oh yeah! There's some head shakes There's some head shakes. Oh, how's the power of that? <laughs> That's a snapper, mate. That is so cool! That's a, a good, good one, yeah, too. yeah, good fish! So... Yeah, pinky. Pinky, big head shakes. Should we go down here a bit? Yep. 
How long's this bait been out? Good half an hour. There you go. Oh. So this is a solid fish. We were both looking at the other rod. And this thing just buckled, didn't it, mate? <laughs> yeah, it just took off. Now, 2.30 in the afternoon. 2.30 in the afternoon. The old Chinese dentist, 2.30. Yeah. And traditionally, this would not be the peak period. I mean, we've been catching fish, but we were just discussing probably an hour before dark's going to be prime. That's right. We're pretty much just saying that this is a time Paul and I would not normally fish. It just uh, goes to show, you keep baits in the water, yeah. fish just eat sometimes when you don't think about it. Yeah. And we've had a few touch-ups on the other rods as well, so... We have. Look, every time we put a rack of three rods out, something's happened. Yeah. Haven't always scored, but something has happened now. This thing went so hard at the start when I picked it up, I couldn't get it out of the rod holder. I actually thought it might be a raid. We did call this for a raid, but it's had some big head shakes. 99% sure it's a nice big pinky. Oh yeah, I just saw it. It's pink. Just watch this wave. Gonna use this wave to push it up. It's all about using the wave. Here it comes. It's a good fish. Let him go back. Look at that for a snapper. Woohoo! Stop it! <laughs> Stop it! It's yeah. red! Yeah, yes. brother! Woo 230 snapper. 230 snapper. <laughs> now look at the coloration on this thing. What a cracking fish. He's still full of power. But that is what you call a red off the beach. He's still going hard. I'm just going to wash him off. I just want to show you this fish. Look at that. Mate. That is a cracking fish. That's every bit of six and a half, seven kilos. Did you ever I'd call think, that for seven kilos. Did you ever think when you first thought to put a drone up, you'd be catching snapper like this in the middle of the day? No way. No. It's a game changer. It is it's, a game changer. It's opening our eyes. Every day we do it, we learn something else. So there you go. So I was talking to someone the other day saying, what's the next big thing in fishing going to be? We had the soft plastics revolution, swordfish. Yep. And I couldn't think of it. But now I know it's fishing Drone with drones fishing. to get these magnificent fish that were just untouchable in the past. And the waters we're fishing, mate, nobody actually fishes them, do they? No one fishes here. There's, there's not a reef in sight. So if you're traditional land-based fishing here, very, very small chance of picking up a pink snapper. But we're bombing baits 250 metres out next to a reef. Gives you all that chance. I'm going to swim this guy, put him back. Let me just say, Perth Fishing Safaris, OMG, snapper in the daytime off the beach. I've just spun this fish for a little while. It's breathing well, it's kicking hard. I'm running for the right way. Here we go. I'm just going to give it a little nudge in the right direction. There he goes. And he's kicking. Look at him go. Woo! He went nuts. Today, see this? It's opened my eyes to something new. 